hello friends today in this video we are going to show you how to use micro pipette and this one is the thousand microliter or one ml micro pipette so in this video at first we will show you how to adjust the volume that means uh, the what amount of what amount of uh, volume we want to transfer we will show at first then we will show how to transfer the exact amount of volume from one container to another container okay so now we are going to show you how to use it but at first before discussing about the modern modern uh, today's modern micro pipette at first we should know something about the first invented pipettes and micro pipettes okay so now let's discuss at first we should know little bit about something about the first invented micro pipette so let's see so this one is the Pasteur pipette. These are the Pasteur pipette, which is invent, which was invented by Louis Pasteur at first in 1940s, uh, 1940s, and it is made up of glass. And the front part, and the front part is made by uh, melting the glasses. And the top part here, a cotton plug is there to prevent the contamination. Okay. So this is the most simplest, first invented micro pipette which is known as the pasture pipette okay and next we will sh we will discuss about the fast micro pipette so this one is the fast micro pipette invented by henrik snazer in 1957 so this is the fast micro pipette and it is a piston driven micro pipette it is a piston driven micro pipette and here also a point is there where the polyethylene tips are at tips can be attached here in this position so it is it is a piston driven micro pipette and so when he is working he is working in his research work he is busy in research work he is basically in frustration because in daily work he have to uh, he have to work with very minute amount of sample so he invented this type of micro piston driven driven micro pipette where by which we uh, he can uh, transfer very minute amount that is uh, 5 microliter or 20 microliter of sample he can easily transfer by this and in next it is uh, it is developed by an company that is known as Eppendorf they developed this uh, this model into this and they commercialize them into the market okay so now we will see the today's modern micro pipette and its features so this is the today's modern micro pipette and these are the plunger this is the plunger by which we can uptake and release the exact volume so here the pipette tips are attached and in pipette tips we can uptake the exact or required amount of volume by the by pressing the plunger and then into another container we press the plunger and release the exact amount of volume there so this plunger is used for release and uptake okay and after the uptake and release is done then we have to eject our pipette tip you have to reject this pipette tip by this pipette eject bottom and here a shaft is a pip, uh, tip uh, eject shaft is there by which pipette tips can be released or uh, discarded okay and next is the volume adjustment knob these are the this is the volume adjustment knob by which we can set our required amount of volume that means what amount of volume we want to transfer we can set this volume or adjust this, this volume as per our requirement okay and the volume readout will be present here and and this one is for thousand microliter thousand microliter pipette but here you can see that three digit only three digits are showing but here also another digit should should shown there but it is only showing the first three digit so if it is if here is a uh, one zero zero is there one zero zero is there it represent the thousand microliter the last digit is not shown here but if it's showing zero nine zero then it represent nine hundred microliter of volume okay so this is the main thing and now we will see how to 
set the volume in this 1000 microliter micro pipette okay so now let's see so this is the 1000 microliter micro pipette here in the plunger top here it is shown that it is a thousand microliter microwave that means the highest volume we can uptake by this microwave that is thousand microliter and these are the readout volume adjustment readout so here we see here we see the thousand micro the thousand microliter is represented by hundred so here one zero zero represent the thousand microliter that is the highest mic highest volume we can uptake by this Microwave and if it represents 0, 090, 0, then it represents the 900 microliter. If, if it's showing 0, 080, 0, then it represents the 800 microliter. And if it is showing 1, uh, if it is showing 0, 1, 0, then it represents the 100 microliter or the lowest microliter which is the 0.1 ml. Okay, so in this way we can adjust the volume and then we can uptake the exact volume and transfer it into our container different container so suppose we want to set it in for uh, 900 microliter so we have to set it at 0 9 0 okay so suppose you want to set it at 500 microliter so then we have to set it at 0 5 0 so that we can uptake 500 of microliter so in this way here you can see is a 500 microliter okay so in this way we have to set the volume then we have to now we have to see how to transfer the volume from one container to another now here we have to remember one thing that in the plunger there are two stops here a first stop is there and by pressing it fully that is the second stop okay and this is the pipette tip ejector okay so when at first so when we want to transfer a required amount of sample at first we have to press it up to the first stop then we have to in uh, put it into a sample and uptake the required amount of sample and then when we want to release it onto a uh, different container then at first we have to press it up to the first stop and then press it fully into the second stop so that the remaining parts which are present in the tip that also can be released into our container because we are working with a very minute amount of sample so if there is uh, remaining if there if uh, some amounts are remaining into the tips so that can be a volume error so that's why we have to press it fully up to the second stop so now we will see here this is the first stop we uptake it and then we have to press it first stop and second stop okay so at first we have to press it first stop and then put it into the sample and uptake it like this i repeat it once again at first we have to put it into the first stop then put it into the sample and uptake the required amount of sample now here we can see that one ml of sample is uptaken here now we have to press it up to first stop and then second stop okay so in this way we can uptake and now we have to eject the pipette tip okay so thank you for watching this video